Welcome on into this video. We are covering how to set stop losses on Weeble. Welcome on in guys. Let's gonna keep things short, sweet to the point so you get in and get out with what you need. Okay, we are looking right now at a stock that I currently have uh, 1500 shares of. It is AESE. What I'm going to do for this stock is I'm going to set a stop loss. In this case, I will just tell you guys really quick, I don't like doing this for penny stocks. Reason why is because you could have days like this where some stop losses get hit, the stock wicks down to 153, then by the end of the day, it finishes up here towards 165. That's actually a pretty big you know, spread between the low and the high of the day. So if there's a very low volume stock, it's illiquid, it's not a stock that you can kind of get in, get out really, really quickly. It's generally something that I don't like to do this on. However, this could be very, very useful for a lot of other stocks and a lot of other situations where you do want to have a hard stop loss. And hey, if it falls below here, or if it goes above here, get me out. So first off, I'm going to get rid of my current sell orders that I do have on this stock. And once I get rid of those sell orders, what I'm then going to be able to do is I'm going to now be able to set a stop loss. So in this case, I'm gonna set my stop loss like way down here, uh, just to show you guys how to do this as an example. Now. This is the Webull platform. There'll be a link in the pinned comment and video description to get a bunch of free stocks when you sign up, deposit any amount if you haven't done so already, or to follow along with the same platform that we're using. This is the desktop platform. There are already a lot of videos. There's a full Webull tutorial playlist here on the channel if you wanna dive through a lot of stuff that covers the platform, how to use this, the different features, all that good stuff, and of course, a customized layout, how to copy our layout that we have right here. Great resource for you, okay. I am on the classic trade widget right here, okay? So you can do this on the price ladder, which we do have a specific video on already. You can also do this on the order entry widget, okay? Again, really quick, top right of our screen, little toolbox that says add widgets. I'll pull it open. I'll go to the trade section, classic trade right here. I can pull it up, resize it, put it wherever I wanna put it, all that good stuff. We have active trade, there's order entry widget right here. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. The easiest way, in my opinion, is going to be through classic trade to visualize this. If you're trying to get in and out super, super fast, the latter might work better. But for this situation, for the most part, we're setting our stop losses uh, on stuff. You know, you're going to have a couple of seconds at least look at things and say, okay, here's what I want to do. I want to set my stop loss here, here, or here. Okay. In this situation, I want to set it to, let's say, 147. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to the classic trade sell. I'm gonna set however many shares I want for my stop loss. I'll just put 100 shares as an example. I am going to go to order type, key part here, order type. See how it says limit. If I do a limit sell and I set it for 147, for example, it's gonna sell right now. Because what it's gonna do, it's gonna sell me at 147 or better, okay? So it's gonna do it right now. That would be a limit order. I go over here and I scroll down to stop order. That's what I want, stop order, and I'm gonna go here and change this back to 147. Uh, now, time and force, I have it set today. If I do that, by the end of today, it will cancel this order. If I change it to good to cancel, GTC, this order will stay up until I cancel it or until it gets filled. So until the stock comes down to that price point and stops me out, or until I cancel it. I don't need to do the stop loss or take profit because I'm doing that right here. This is if I'm going to want to enter a stop loss and a take profit at the same time as entering in a buy order uh, or a sell order from going short. Um, I don't need to do that, okay, in this situation. So don't worry about those two things right there, uh, but they're there for you for other types of orders, okay? So I'm good to go. Uh, it'll give me all the information down here. Click on sell AESE. Give it a couple seconds. And now my order appears on our layout down here at the 147 stop price. Okay. That is how you set the stop. Now on the flip side, if I was short, let's say I was short this stock and I had a negative 1,500 shares. How do I stop myself out? Well, I can do the exact same thing. However, when I do the stop, it's a buy order. So it's a buy I make sure the order is set to stop and I can set my stop on the buy side, let's say at like 175, okay? Something like that, or let's say 172, uh, just for this example. Uh, GTC, click on buy. Once I do that, it's set up here. If the stock comes up, 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 boom, that will hit. Now that would be if I was short the stock, it would stop me out for you know a loss as it pushes back to the upside. So that's what I would use that for. That's how you do it. That's how you set the stops. Now. There are other stop losses that you can utilize. One of those 
would be a trailing stop loss. Let's go into that. So I go back to my sell order. In this case, I am long 1500 shares and it's just the exact opposite. If I was short, I would be using the buy option here, but I'm currently long. So I'm gonna click on sell, go down to the trailing stop, okay? Now trailing stop, I can trail it by a couple different ways. I can go by a dollar amount. So here it has a little dollar sign, so it has a price. So I can trail this by let's say 20 cents if I wanna do so and trail it by 20 cents. I could go and change this to a percentage or I can change it to a price. So okay, if I go on the right hand side, I can see that I have a dollar sign or a percent sign. I go and I can change it either way. So I wanna trail by 10%, 5%, I wanna trail by 20 cents. Whatever I wanna do, I can go ahead and do so. Now, the reason why this is important is that once I set this, okay, if I set this for a five, for let's say a, a 10 cent um, offset, right, a 10 cent uh, trailing stop, from where the price is right now, 157, I have 10 cents. So if the stock drops to 147 from right now, I'm out. It will take me out, okay? Okay, that's roughly like a 6% loss for our 6% drop from where it's at right now, okay? And the same thing on the percent, if I put like a 5%, you know, stop loss, if it falls 5% from where it's at right now, I'm out. But if the stock goes up, ideally these are best for uptrending stocks, right? If the stock goes up and all of a sudden AESC starts grinding and it grinds up and it goes to 160, let's say it goes to 161 right here, a little line I have set up. And let's say it's right there. I'm gonna draw a little box. It's right here. Okay. Now... This stop loss order, if I set it, it's still on, but now a 10 cent stop means I'm gonna get stopped out at 151 if it drops down to that level, okay? So it goes from that last price that it hits, it then assesses that stop. So if I have a stop loss set and it's at 157 right now, right now my trailing stop on a 10 cent stop is at 147. But if it goes to 158, my trailing stop comes now to 148. So that stop will kind of move up with the stock, but it will still be that set price or percentage that you set. Make sure you're aware of that. But again, it's really good for uptrending stocks. If you're already up on the trade, set your trailing stop to a point that you're fine with or you're comfortable with, and you're good to go. All you have to do now is let things play out. And if the stock comes back down, okay, great, I got stopped out. I still made money, it is what it is. Like that's why people use it and that's why it's useful. And I highly would recommend it for that purpose. There you guys have it. It's the exact flip side and the exact opposite when you are short. Hopefully that helps. We have other videos on the channel diving into Weebles, other options, other features, order types, all that good stuff. So if you wanna learn more, you wanna dive deeper into other aspects of the platform, of the order type features, of the trailing stop losses for options, all that good stuff, Highly recommend you check out some other videos we have here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Again, links are down below if you want to get some free socks with Weeble or other platforms. Follow along if you don't have the platform already. I would imagine that most of you already do. However, if you don't, links are there in the pinned comment and video description. Get some free stocks in the process. We'll also leave a link to a free webinar covering three awesome trading signals to add to your arsenal. Check that out if you guys are interested. Make sure you're subscribed here, the thumbs up button, leave any questions, comments down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.